Good morning, beautiful angels. We're gonna do some tarot. Really, really getting into my tarot practice. I only started back in September. You might be surprised to know. Actually, August, but barely. I've barely been reading for very long, and um, I resisted it, man. Spirit really pushed me into it. Um, I'm not gonna take these, because just too many came out. <laughs> All right, Spirit, you guys, things you're picking up, okay? If you're wondering why I'm posting twice a day, it's because Spirit's prompting me to. There's something big coming. Judgment Day, I just heard. This isn't a threat, okay? This is an opportunity. The Hierophant, to listen to your higher self, to listen to God, to start tapping in. This is an opportunity to take a new path, to be a new you, all right? There's something happening. I dreamt last night that someone was about to have a baby, that they were about to pop. That means that something new is about to be birthed into the world by the collective, the star. The Hierophant and the star, two major arcana right off the bat. Plus, these are both incredible cards. God energy, star energy. This could be fame and fortune for some of you, but this could also just be shining in your beautiful, brilliant, authentic light for the first time. This could be a new, paradigm being illuminated by the collective which of course I believe is is true um based on what I'm hearing based on what God is telling me all right I got a couple new decks I'm really excited to share them with you the hermit just popped right out the hermit we have three major arcana the first out this is not this is not normal okay spirit is asking you to go inside and um get intentional about what you want to birth into this world, what you want to create. What kind of world do you wanna create? What kind of world do you wanna see? Start taking action in your own life to uh, bring that closer to you, okay? You are the creator of your own reality. If you wanna see this brilliant, bright light in your life, you have to start opening your heart. You have to start healing the things that have not gone well. And again, I'm here. I did just put my um, ace of chalices which is ace of cups i did just put a discount on my mentorship because i was guided to I, I know that there are some people coming toward me that are on a budget two three four so reach out to me if you're interested in working with me but um ace of chalices you have a new opportunity this was in reverse but it's not reverse for everyone if you haven't emptied your cup of what you don't want this is your time spirit's asking you to empty your cup so you can fill it with what you actually want okay be intentional go inward for those of you that have already emptied your cup, baby, it's about to start overflowing. Didn't I just say the other day I want to be like a fountain overflowing in every direction? I didn't even know this card. I've, I've never owned this deck before. That's me. That's you. That's anyone that chooses to be present for this moment and um, allow God to fill their cup. All right? The Hierophant. You are connected to spirit. Wow, you guys, the energy is so potent. I honestly feel like I might cry. <sighs> this is not a time to take shortcuts. This is not a time to um, pretend to be in denial. Four of Pentacles or hold on to what you have. Chariot. Stop holding on to what you have. Okay? I had just enough money in the bank to get my Airbnb. I could have held on to it out of fear, but instead I booked my Airbnb and I feel like it's changing everything because I moved in faith and fuck Airbnb. I'm just saying like, this is about <clears throat> not holding on to what you have out of fear because you've been let down before. There's a part of you that's dragging the past into the future because you think that you're not gonna have what you need. That era is gone, okay? This is the year of the dragon, the year of the eight. It's abundance. This year is about abundance quickly coming toward you all right temperance another dude okay Ugh, i'm freaking out temperance spirit is trying to come in and balance things for you all right there's a lot of major arcana here this is not normal that's when god energy comes in and takes over judgment day is coming all right doesn't matter if you're religious or not there is a god and Things are about to start being turned over to make room for an era of Christ consciousness, okay? And again, it doesn't matter if you're religious. Jesus was a real person who blessed this earth with a lot of amazing love. Otherworldly love is what I'm hearing. Yep. Four of Cups. 
Um, don't resist what's coming in. This energy of apathy has got to go, all right? There's no reason to be apathetic right now. This is a very exciting time, okay? We're heading into a revolution. And as I've said before, you, the revolution starts with you, with each one of us. We have to start revolutionizing our own lives. Thank you, spirit. Overhaul, overhaul. If you're stuck in a relationship that doesn't make you happy, if you're stuck in a business or a job that doesn't make you happy, if you have, are surrounded by people that don't treat you the way you wanna be treated, that don't treat you the way you treat them, empty your cup. And, Empty your cup of this apathy so that God can fill it with what you really deserve. What you've been working so hard for is what I'm hearing. And if you haven't gotten work, get to work. Trust me. Trust me. Spirit's saying, you don't want to wait. Things aren't going to look good if you wait. All right? You've got an opportunity to be blessed. But you've got to open yourself up to your um, gifts, to your creativity. And those of you that already have, you know what's coming to you. You already know, because I know Spirit's been talking to you and that's why you've been doing all this work. Congratulations, I wanna say. This is not easy work, all right? This is not easy work. This work beats people into the ground until they succumb, to, they surrender, and they leave this earth. Two of Wands, you have a choice to choose the higher path or the lower path. And by that I mean your higher self or your lower self. You have a choice to choose between a version of you that is divine and in high vibration and loves everyone and is peaceful and a version of you that is connected to ego, fear, um, doubt, the, the version of you that might manipulate others to get your way, the version of you that might um, placate others and pretend that you're someone you're not to make other people feel comfortable. You're being asked to spend time with the divine right now um, to spend time in your higher mind and to bring that energy down to earth, okay? Bring all this God energy down to earth. Study, study if this is something specific. If you're trying to get a certification or something that's been divinely guided, prepare right now. Don't waste time. Spirit's saying, don't delay, all right? Don't delay. This is the time. Oh. <clears throat> I wish I could describe the feeling I have right now. It's just like complete, ugh, can't explain it. It's a lot of beauty though, all right? So um, you're the one that's keeping yourself from the beautiful stuff if you don't let go of what you have that isn't serving you. And I'm being told a lot of you are surrounded by things that don't serve you. People, jobs, play, your house, a lot of you are holding on, holding on to everything you have. And trust me, I know, I just left a house I was living in for four and a half years. I'm floating, I'm a nomad now. With my cat luckily he's a badass just like me so we're fine this is what spirit wants for me and we're surrendered i trust that i'm gonna have the money to pay for whatever i need because that's what spirit's asking me to do to step out illuminated fucking path are you kidding me brand new deck never even used it illuminated path exactly there's a path being illuminated for you i just saw lights go boop 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 all the way off in the distance you have to start walking this path and trusting that it will be lit by the time you get there, okay? If I worried about money, I would have just rented some shitty house for like a t couple hundred dollars, a room in someone's house. I wouldn't have been happy. I would have felt stuck. I would have been gone back down into a low vibration because it would have been out of fear and panic and desperation. You're not supposed to do that. The outcome I'm hearing is not gonna be anything like what you've seen before. If you empty your cup of all those emotions and expect something different, your, your path is being illuminated. The way is clear, I just heard. Uh, centered in the storm, exactly. You're cared for, there's a storm brewing, but if you stay connected to God, if you trust this process, um, it's going to be fine. It's gonna be better than fine. It's gonna be overflowing with abundance. I wish I could tell you the things that I'm seeing with this. Ah, it's not anything I can put into words, but it's magical, okay? If you don't trust yourself, this moment, God, me, you're not gonna be able to reap these rewards, okay? You've gotta believe in the messengers is what I'm hearing. Believe in the messengers, but make sure that you're using your intuition. Not everybody is coming from a good place, okay? Heart of devotion. But those that are, you can trust them. You can trust your own heart, if, especially when it's devoted to God, because you're not a servant to your ego anymore, all right? You're not a servant. If you need a private reading, reach out to me. I'd love to work with you.
keep moving forward right now. Don't, um, oh, hold on. I need to get another one. Energy is so sexy right now. I really just can't even deal. It's, it just feels like Christmas mixed with like, whatever, falling in love mixed with, you know, whatever is beautiful and magical to you. Okay. I could list a lot of things that are beautiful and magical to me, but it's your, yeah. Be on the threshold of fear. Exactly. Be, I wish the glare wasn't so bright here, but beyond the threshold of fear is magic. Okay. The star. Don't forget who you are. I'm being guided to say, don't forget who you are. You're not your fear. You are not, um, other people's fear and you don't need to listen to what other people are saying. You know what? I'm being told that you really need to remove yourself from some people. A lot of you just need to get away from everyone, everyone, if you can, obviously all, all of you are in different situations, but if you have children or something, then that's not possible. But other adults that don't need your care. And even if they do, if it's not, um, a, a disability type situation, you're being asked to rearrange your life. This isn't for everyone. All right. Don't get upset if this isn't for you, but there's a lot of you surrounded by toxic people who have good hearts. Maybe, maybe they don't know what they're doing, but they're unhealed and they're damaging you. It's possible that you're damaging each other. You've got something magical waiting for you. You've got to choose the path. Ooh, I just got chills everywhere. As a person who's chosen the path, I just want to say, I feel free. Do I feel scared sometimes? Do I feel nervous? Yeah. But I feel free because I know that I'm guided by something higher, okay? Spirit's with me every fucking second of this journey. And I'm here to help you guys, all right? Even a 10-minute pre-recorded reading would probably change some of your lives. So don't make it about money. They're only $55. That's not that much. It doesn't matter if you work with me. It doesn't matter who you work with as long as they're tapped in. It doesn't matter how you get there is what I'm hearing. 12-12 on my timer. Just start moving. The reason why I'm offering my services is because I know that a lot of you trust me. And I know that I can be a tool to change, radically change your lives. I'm ready to be that tool, that divine tool, as goofy as that sounds. I know what it's like to work with people that change your life. I've worked with people that have changed my life. And I spent a lot of money on it too. And I don't even, I'm not even telling, I just put a huge discount on my mentorship, man. It's like ridiculous actually. But spirit asked me to, if you've been making excuses about money, this is your time to step forward. If you've been feeling called to work with me in particular, all right? If you haven't, then go find someone who you feel called to work with. Sorry, a card is on the floor. Oh, beyond the threshold of fear. Well, I think that's because I'm supposed to pick it up again. You've got to push past your barrier of fear. You're not going to get anywhere if you don't. Slash, you're, I just saw spirit's going to like wipe everything out in your life clear the, I just like a board, a board game, just being, it's like back to square one. If you don't let go, spirit's going to let go for you. And it's not a threat. It's just a warning. Thank you, spirit. It's not a threat. It's a warning. I'm trying to warn you. Receptivity. Welcome home. <gasps> Fuck yeah. You've got it. Three, three, three on my timer. I can't even deal with you guys. The energy is magical as fuck. All right. <clears throat> You've got to be receptive. You've got to remember how to accept love into your life, to accept help, to ask for help, to know that you're worthy of being helped, that you are divine, that you are um, tapped in, that you're sacred. Welcome fucking home. All right. Welcome home. Spirit's trying to guide you back home. All right. To yourself, to, uh, to the divine, to your soul family. I'm hearing if you're filling your cup with a lot of people that don't understand you, do you think you're going to have any room to invite your soul family in? Nope. You got to empty your cup. And again, this isn't for everyone. If you've already emptied your, your, emptied your cup, baby, baby, it's going to start overflowing. You have blessings coming in. I'm getting chills all over. This is for me. I've emptied my fucking cup. I can't wait. That's why this energy is flowing through me because I'm an empty, beautiful, divine vessel. Now I am a, a servant of God. I'm a soldier a divine soldier for this new earth awakening. Okay. I'm here to awaken you onto your soul path. I'm here to, um, rally you guys to rouse you from your slumber and get you back on track. We've got a war to fight. All right. And it's not the kind of war that you're thinking. It's a war of love. 
We're coming out here with guns blazing, but they're full of love. There's no gunpowder involved. We are, it's like putting daisies in the rifles back in Vietnam. There's a picture, a beautiful picture of somebody putting a daisy in a rifle. Ugh. You feel that? We're going home, all right? Stop holding on to where you are. You have to empty your cup. I'm crying because of how beautiful this moment is. But if it hits you uh, as desperation for you to leave where you are, then let it hit you that way because it's both. <laughs> All right, I'm excited. I've worked so hard for this. It's time for you to get to work. All right, you're safe now. But the only thing that's keeping you unsafe is you. If you keep letting people abuse you, if you keep staying in situations that don't serve you, you're the one that's doing that, nobody else. You're the one in control right now, all right? I told you the other day I'm being hard on you because there's something happening right now. And I'm, not, I'm being hard on you and posting all the time because Spirit's pu pushing me to do this work. We're, we're heading, we're building to something. I don't know what yet. It's gonna be different for all of you based on what you do right now, how you move. But I'm telling you, it's going to, it's gonna shock everyone. I didn't even know I was gonna say that. I thought I was gonna say it's gonna rock the world, you know, but it's gonna shock, it's gonna shock you. All right, make some room for magic right now. If you don't hear anything else I say, hear that. Look at that. All right, God damn it, this moment. I really can't explain how crazy this moment feels. Where's my other deck? There it is. I have so many decks now, not really. Like compared to a normal uh, tarot reader, I have nothing. But for me, I feel like I've got double what I had and it's very exciting body root all right some of you need to do some root chakra healing some of you need to start focusing on feeling safe in your body healing your body of trauma the body keeps the score is a book coming to mind i actually never got around reading it so i can't recommend it personally but some of you need to read that book but um do some meditation if you're not meditating every day that's something that that's a good place to start two minutes a day even just to start I told someone the other day, if it's easier for you to talk to God in meditation rather than just sit there silently, that's fine. Meditation and prayer are basically the same in my opinion <clears throat> because it's spending time in devotion to something higher, spending time in, in um, connection to something higher, to God, to your higher self. So don't, uh, don't get freaked out if you can't sit there quietly. Talk to God in your head. Pray, ask for help. Beg for help if you need it. I'm telling you the biggest breakthroughs of my life have happened because I broke down and begged for help, begged God. I'm telling you, it works. All right, expand. You need to get grounded in your root chakra first, okay? You need to get comfortable in your body first, and then you're gonna fucking expand into the stratosphere. You are limitless, all right? The only reason why you think you're limited is because other people around you have told you that, because the world around you has told you that. I'm here to tell you that's bullshit. I'm gonna be an example for all of you. I'm gonna fucking rise and I'm gonna show you. We are magicians. God is moving through us. We are co-creating our reality with God. We are expansive as fuck. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Anybody who doesn't believe in you, <clears throat> they don't deserve to have you in their life. All right? And again, this isn't for everyone. If they're your children or something and they're still growing and you're raising them, whatever. I hear all the excuses. I'm just saying... Dude, I was surrounded by people that didn't believe in me. I never made anything of myself. The minute I got rid of all of them, I found my power, yo. I did not know I was this powerful. God had to show me for 12 days. Basically just sit me down and fucking, I can't even explain it. 12 days straight of me, of guides showing me, ancestors showing me who I was. I was streaming tears. It was one of the most overwhelming experiences of my life. I don't even think I left the house for 12 days because I was so overwhelmed, just downloading. I had to clear space for that, empty my cup for that, quit my old business and allow space to rediscover who I am without all that other bullshit defining me. And I'm telling you, it changed my life. That is what changed my life, having that revelation, 12 day revelation. It was powerful, I'll never forget it. And I'm not the same person after that. That 30 year relationship I talked about the other day, I let go of that after that revelation I was guided to. And I knew who I was after that. 
Sometimes I forget. I'm not going to say it's always crystal clear in my mind. But Spirit's trying to show you who you are, okay? Spirit's trying to show you who you are, but you have got to make room, okay? Some of you are holding on to your old jobs. You're holding on to your old friends, your old life. I'm not taking those. I'm going to keep shuffling. I didn't even look at them. I just knew they weren't right. <sighs> Stop holding on. You've got to trust yourself. You've got to trust yourself. You're heading home, all right? A lot of you are just stubborn, okay? I'm stubborn too. I get it. But God is stubborn as well when it comes to proving something to the collective. This is not a time to go against God. And I'm not saying that because God is vengeful in the way that some people think. God is vengeful if you're being, if you're not aligned with your higher self and you're damaging people intentionally and you're just destructive, oh, karma is going to get you. And the karma comes through God. But I don't believe that God is vengeful by nature. I believe that God wants us all to be happy. Ten of pentacles. Ten of fucking pentacles. I was just going to say, I believe that God wants us all to be happy. <clears throat> and the tower. Yep. You got to tear it down, you guys. Um, hold on. I'm, they're all turned around now. You got to tear it down. The tower. It all has to come crumbling down to make room for this ten of pentacles. All right? Happiness. Abundance. Wealth, I'm hearing, for a lot of you. You've got stuff trying to come in that you've never dreamed of. The problem that you're having right now for some of you is that you don't know how to dream this big. You've been squashed down so much in your life. You don't know how to dream big. I'm here to tell you how to dream big. I'm here to remind you how to be childlike and curious and trusting again. All right. You are magical. Okay. You're the only one standing in your way. You have magical fucking abundance trying to come in. Empty your cup. Surrender. Get to work. Meditate every day. Do something today. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Do something today to commit to this path. Just internally. Even if it's just to write down everything you want to start doing. Even if it's just to do your first meditation today. And then again tomorrow. To do something today to commit to, commit to this path. Because Spirit's watching you. Any effort you put in is going to be matched. And then some. All right? A lot of you don't realize that. You're waiting for something. Spirit's waiting for you. Okay? I just heard a gun go off. It's The race is beginning. Why are you standing here? The gun just went off. Run. Go. All right? And if you don't know what to do next, work with me. Okay? You've got to stop making excuses not to do this. Because the worst part is like being a person in my position that sees what's coming. I'm trying to help you guys. Okay? And again, it's not a threat. It's a warning. Something's brewing. All right. Remember the calm centered in the storm. This is me centered in the storm to show you that it's okay to be centered in the storm. There's a path being illuminated. All right. But you have to start moving. You have to start walking down your path in order to find it. And you have to walk with a heart of devotion. You have to commit yourself to God, to your higher self. If you don't believe in God, that's okay. Believe in your higher self. And I know you know what that is because we all know what a lower self looks like. We all know what a toxic human looks like. All right? I'm talking about the opposite of that. You're better than that, I'm hearing. doesn't matter what your parents pass down to you. You're the one responsible for, for carrying something different and delivering something different. And as a person who was handed a whole bunch of bullshit and trauma, I can say I took responsibility for that. I am not going to continue that. I am changing the narrative, okay? I'm healing my family generation, uh, all my generational lineage of trauma. It ends here. It ends right here. Powerful, right? We each have power within us to move worlds, to change lives, to impact this world in an um, irreversible way. Ugh. I really hope this message came through, all right? Get ready, hold on to your hats and start praying, all right? Get get good with God. And again, it doesn't matter if you're religious, get good with your higher self. Just get in line with your higher self. You don't need to be listening to your ego anymore. That air is out the window, all right? I could talk about this all day because the energy is that wild. I love you. 
My website is sacrednewsproject.com. I'll put it in the description box if you want to work with me. Let's go. It's go time. All right. I just heard you're going to see a lot of signs today. Pay attention. All right. Love you.